Now let's go live to New York and Marsha Kramer, political reporter at our sister station, WCBS. And Marsha, the mayor of New York, to me, sounded more surprised than disappointed. Is that the sense you got? Oh, absolutely not. I think that he thought that he had this locked down. Remember, this is the second most important position in his cabinet, the first being the police chief. So for him to have thought that he found the perfect candidate to help, you know, improve graduation rates and all other things, this was a big disappointment for him. And I think publicly he's trying to put on the face of, well, we have a really big school system. Everybody wants this job. We have a lot of other candidates. But privately, I think he's very disappointed. And you could tell that he was angry by some of his comments where he said if he wasn't interested in the job, why did Alberto Carvalho make so many trips to New York and have what the mayor called incessant conversations about what he would do when he came here? Yeah, let's listen, in fact, Marsha, to what the mayor had to say during a news conference this afternoon. I respect Mr. Carvalho. I wish him well. I wish the people of Miami well. Uh, we're going to move forward. That's the bottom line. He was offered the job uh, most of two weeks ago. He said yes over a week ago. He authorized the story being given to Politico. Very cool in the saddle, clear that it was time for the story to go because more and more information was starting to spread. Um, I think he has been honest today that he did not keep his agreement. Well, Marsha, the mayor was very measured in his response, but give us a sense of what might be brewing inside the mayor's office. Well, I think you can tell the tenor of what's really going on by the tweets that his press secretary sent out. He sent out a flurry of tweets at first saying that, you know, he was had to deal with, quote, the weirdness that had happened. By the end of the day, he was saying, who would hire this guy? Who would elect this guy? So on the one hand, trying to say, he, you know, Mr. Kavala might have difficulty getting another job, but also going to his political aspirations and, you know, maybe the possibility that he thinks he could become Secretary of Education, maybe run for office down in Miami. It's hard to tell. But already, you know, the disinformation campaign is coming out. And when the mayor was asked about those tweets, the mayor actually defended Eric Phillips' as press secretary, saying that he understood the frustration that was behind that, indicating that this was his frustration, too. You know, the mayor said that he was profoundly surprised by the decision. I think it caught him unawares, and it caught him with actually no candidate and no place to go. Now, think about what happens now. If he has to find another candidate, that candidate will always know that he wasn't the first choice, that he was second best to run the school system. And then there's the other issue of the pay. In order to get him, he had to agree to pay the same thing that Alberto Cavallo was getting in Miami, which is $353,000. Now, that's $120,000 more than the present chancellor makes and $100,000 more than the mayor makes, and yet he was willing to pay it. So next question is the person he hires the, for the next job, is he going to get that same pay? Is the mayor going to have to pay that? It's a really big question and a really big problem. Sounds like it might be a big race for that next person, whoever it is. Marsha Kramer, thank you so much for joining us from our sister station, thank WCBS. You. Thank you.